قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم And there's a فائدة that Sheikh Muhammad Aman uh, al-Jami رحمه الله تعالى mentions with regards to the portion of the dua where Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab رحمه الله says وَإِذَا أَذْنَبَ اسْتَغْفَرْ وَإِذَا أَذْنَبَ اسْتَغْفَرْ and when the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala falls into sin he seeks forgiveness and repents so as Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Muhammad Aman al-Jami رحمه الله says يُبْتَلَى يعني الإنسان the individual, the person, the human being يُبْتَلَى بِأَشْيَاءٍ كَثِيرَةٍ He is trialed with many things فَيَصْبِرُ وَلَا يَجْزَعْ He is patient and he does not lose hope and he does not despair وَيَحْتَسِبُ الْأَجْرَ عَلَى اللَّهِ And he hopes for the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَإِذَا أَذْنَبَ استغفر. And now he's quoting the text of Sheikh Muhammad bin Abdul Wahab فَمَنِ الَّذِي لَا يُذْنَبُ Sheikh Muhammad Aman says, then who is it that does not fall into sin? فَالذَّنُوبُ كَثِيرًا And the sins are many. مِنَ الْمُوبِقَاتِ From the destructive sins, such as shirk, such as sihr, magic, and, and the like. وَالْكَبَائِرِ And from the major sins, such as zina, such as uh, you know, adultery and fornication, such as shurbul khamar, shurbul khamar, yani taking intoxicants, uh, in, in, intoxicants. Or muhakkirat al dhunub. فإذا أحس أنه اقترف ذنبا بعد رب الاستغفار. So if someone has seen himself fall into sin, then he rushes to seeking forgiveness. فلا كبيرة مع الاستغفار ولا صغيرة مع الإصرار and there is no كبيرة there is no major sin with repentance and there is no minor sin with continuously doing that sin being, being persistent upon sinning and what is meant by that عبارة the scholars often mention this عبارة when they are encouraging uh, the believers and the Muslims to rush to make tawbah. And so they say, لا كبيرة مع التوبة. And what is meant by that? That there is no kabira, meaning it will not be written for you as a major sin. There is no major sin as long as you make tawbah for it, if you repent from it. And so this is encouraging those who believe that once they fall into a uh, major sin, such as adultery, whether it's zina, whether it is uh, taking drugs or intoxicants, any, whether it's murder, whatever the major sin may be, uh, oftentimes people believe they are doomed and that there is no hope for them. And so the ulama then say, لا كبيرة مع التوبة يعني لا كبيرة مع التوبة that there is no major sin with tawbah, if the person sincerely repents to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and regrets that which they did, and if what they did was, ta- was, a, was taking a right of someone else's, then they repay that, uh, that right or give that right back to that individual. Allah then accepts their tawbah regardless of what it is. So, and likewise, the ulama then say, وَلَا صَغِيرَةَ مَعَ الْإِسْرَارِ And there is no minor sin with persistence. Meaning, if you, the, the, the way that the person has to look and the outlook that one must have towards their sins is that, first of all, not to look at it as major and minor sins, but rather to look at it as who is the one you are disobeying. And so if you are doing a minor sin, it is not from wisdom to belittle 
your sin and say, well, it's just a minor sin. Because persistence upon minor sins is equivalent to a major sin. Not in terms of punishment perhaps, but in terms of who you are disobeying. The one you are disobeying, if you are persistently disobeying him with minor sins, then it will be considered and it is taken as a major sin. And that is because there is no remorse or regret for the disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.